Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. This is our latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog called Weather Overtime. We're live right now on Periscope, Twitter, Google Plus, and YouTube. Thanks very much for joining us on this very early Friday morning where things are quiet for now, but could be looking at some more problems for later on. I'm down here in the lower left hand corner. For those of you watching this on various social media networks, which you can get here, and also, again, at wreg.com slash weather if you'd like to stop by and take a look and see more of what's going on into the Mid-South where it comes to your forecast. Speaking of which, current conditions as of about 7 o'clock this morning right here, mid to upper 60s, winds gusting south at about 15 to 20 miles per hour already. Today's forecast, mid to upper 70s for highs well above normal for this time of the year. And then also looking at tonight's forecast, lower 60s. That's for early during the evening, heading into very early tomorrow morning we may see the possibility of some stronger weather heading our direction as in the possibility of severe weather. We're going to be watching that with a lot of interest, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3. Mostly cloudy coming our direction. It's been mainly sunny early, but more clouds starting to overspread the area. As you can see from our St. Francis camera around I-40 and areas of Germantown Parkway just south of I-40, looking back to the west side of Germantown Parkway. Traffic starting to pick up early this morning as we head into very early. Friday. The view from Bethel Springs Elementary, Bethel Springs, Tennessee. Numbers again pretty quiet for right now. Our weather bug cameras like this one and St. Francis you can catch at WREG.com slash webcams for more. Germantown at the high school just across from there at our city hall camera. 66 degrees winds mainly out of the south at about 14 miles per hour. Golfers out and about at least starting to get there anyway at Windyke Country Club also available through the weather bug system down to southeast Memphis. Temperatures back in the mid 60s there. Earthquakes in the mid south, it's been decently quiet into about the last 24 hours. We did manage to get one earthquake back to our north, and that was just outside the News Channel 3 viewing area, and that was right along the New Madrid fault line, right up to the west side of the Mississippi River, and that was a 2.4 reported yesterday at 4.15 in the afternoon. So if you felt that, please let the United States Geological Survey know, or the Center for Earthquake Research and Information. They would love to hear from you. Citizen Science, a way for you to participate, to let them know what you felt. Filling out a Did You Feel It report can help the scientists and seismologists and volcanologists and all that information figure out more about what's going on under our feet. So if you'd like to go to either one of these locations at Center for Earthquake Research and Information or USGS and you'll be able to get more information to help out there when it comes to earthquakes in the Mid-South. Over the next several hours, temperatures again heading into the mid to upper 60s. The main thing for this morning is going to again be the winds out of across the area. The National Weather Service has posted a wind advisory in effect for most of the Mid-South area throughout the rest of the day. So winds today out of the south, southeast at about 15 to 25 miles per hour. Could even be gusting higher than that throughout the rest of the day. We could be looking at winds of around maybe 30 to 40 miles per hour at times, and that's why that wind advisory is in effect. So please keep that in mind. Doesn't look like too much of anything in the way of rainfall throughout the rest of the day. We are seeing again some decent amounts coming up late tonight. The computer system here is putting in a few sprinkles showing up as we go throughout the rest of the morning into this afternoon. I'm kind of disagreeing with this. I'm just not seeing anything out there in the way of major amounts of rainfall. A drip or a drizzle here and there, that's going to be pretty much about it as we go throughout the rest of the day. Almanac for the day, 6.58 sunrise time this morning. Earlier tomorrow at 6.56, sunset tonight at 7.15 and 7.16 tomorrow. Where we're picking up well over 20 12 hours of daylight at this time. Rainfall yesterday, we'll get to that in just a little bit, way above normal, 12 degrees above normal for high temperatures yesterday, and just above normal on low temperature, 50 degrees are low, 46 is our normal, haven't broken a record high since 1929 of 86 degrees, not coming close to that today, but it is still going to be pretty warm out there. Rainfall yesterday, bupkis, nothing to report, we are now decently behind for the month and for the year, we could definitely use a a little bit more rainfall out there half an inch plus behind for the month and for the year about three and a third inches behind so definitely could use a lot more 
where rainfall is concerned there. Rest of the forecast, again, through the day, the computer is throwing in a few sprinkles out across portions of the area as we get into mid to late morning. I'm just not seeing it on any of the other computer models at this time, so maybe a raindrop or two. Beyond that, I just don't see too much of anything really happening. Through lunchtime, temperatures in the high 60s to the lower 70s across West Tennessee, back into North Mississippi, and southeastern areas of Arkansas. The, this afternoon, we could be looking at the potential of maybe some temperatures pushing 80 degrees in southeastern Arkansas and northwestern parts of Mississippi, somewhere in that area if we get enough sunshine for later on today. That's where our high temperatures are going to wind up, mid to upper 70s to maybe a few lower 80s. Now tonight, as we get into around News Channel 3 at 6, we'll be looking at more chances of sprinkles starting to head into eastern Arkansas, the Boot Hill, and maybe crossing the river to around parts of northwestern areas of Mississippi. The best possibility of anything involving thunderstorms is going to be developing well to our west as we get into the late evening hours and that could involve the possibility of some thunderstorms developing out this direction through about News Channel 3 at 10 mostly looking at the activity around and about midnight into Saturday morning. That's why we kept the possibility of precipitation out of the forecast at this time and that's going to be moving into the metro area right about 2 o'clock in the morning. Severe weather chances are still out there for today. We'll take a look at that coming up in just a little bit and this whole thing will be moving through the Mid-South right about the time we're on with News Channel 3 Daybreak bright and early tomorrow morning at about 6 a.m. so make certain that you join us for a complete forecast update there. Severe weather threat for today back to our west. You can see again a yellow slight risk category from just to the west of the Mid-South back to eastern Oklahoma, southern parts of Kansas, extreme southeastern areas of Kansas, and southwestern Missouri. Now that threat is going to move a little bit closer to us as we get into tonight and it's going to move through the Mid-South into very early tomorrow morning. So this threat is going to be a late night thing pushing through the Mid-South as we go into overnight and then the possibility for severe weather is gone heading well to our east as we go toward Monday, but then right here into around Oklahoma, Texas, and just west of Arkansas, new storm system that will be heading a little bit closer to us late Monday. This one is something we are going to definitely have to watch out for, so please pay attention to that throughout the rest of the weekend. Keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more information. So most of the day should be decently dry, windy, warm, cloudy skies coming on through there and more chances of showers and thunderstorms developing as we go throughout the rest of the evening into very early tomorrow. More showers and thunderstorms expected off and on through the day but the severe weather threat should be gone as we head into mid to late morning. Leftover shower, maybe one or two of them as we head toward early Sunday morning and then mostly sunny and very mild after that. Then on Monday, showers and thunderstorms return to the area, stick around through Tuesday. Wednesday is about the best possibility we have of anything involving get out and do things in the yard type of situations. We see again more thunderstorms on Thursday and again as we go into Friday, Saturday and Sunday there is still going to be that potential out there for more showers and thunderstorms so if you have any outdoor plans over the next 7 to 10 days keep it tuned to the weather experts and we'll keep you updated on what we may be looking for. Join me for a complete forecast update throughout the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 and whatever you do don't forget to download our weather app it's available at whatever app store you've got search WREG weather download it today to keep up to date with what's going on with weather in the Mid-South and follow along again on all these social media networks out there that you can see here we'll be posting our weather overtime information throughout the weekend and your complete forecast as well so all the details available there or at wreg.com slash weather live and direct from downtown Memphis Tennessee I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with an update of your weather situation for Friday morning we call this our weather blog exclusive weather blog weather overtime keep it tuned to news channel three on air and online tonight for the latest weather updates and throughout the rest of the weekend for your complete forecast. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me for today's weather overtime.